Welcome to this week's tutorial. We're going to take a look at a very frequently used drawing from our side, which is our typical detail sheet. This incorporates a large number of very typical details that occur on almost every scheme. We're not necessarily going to go through every last layer functionality within this drawing, whilst it's certainly open for you to use. I'm just going to talk through the key interfaces and some key considerations. So we have a variety of pipe penetrations. Depending on which layer you select, you'll see the different methods of detailing, whether it be sealing with a top hat, whether it be sealing with a twin seal GR between the membrane and the pipe penetration. We also have service penetrations, a very key and challenging detail to install and maintain the integrity for in the industry. Here we're demonstrating the hydro plug being used within the service penetration. We've also incorporated lap joints, demonstrating the key minimum dimension of a membrane lap joint, key interfaces of construction joints, and thereby the suitable hydrophilic water bar to be detailed in as well. Another key interface that regularly arises on specifically double-sided retaining walls, but also single-sided retaining walls, is tie hole sealing. We have a detail here demonstrating how the tie hole sealer, in conjunction with the Hydrostop BR, is used to seal this key interface. Finally, down in the bottom left, we're demonstrating capping beam interfaces, where continuity bar is typically used on the underside of the capping beam to connect into the line of wall. A challenging detail for us as a waterproofing manufacturer to make sure it's detailed well on site. If there is not the ability to install the water bar outside of the continuity bar zone, then the water bar must be installed at the top of the continuity bar box and also to the underside to maintain the waterproofing integrity. We trust this has been helpful and we look forward to seeing you back again next week.